Hello, everyone. It's William here at Allegory Gallery, and I am today at Star Cottage right now with Andrew. Howdy. How's everybody doing out there? Everybody doing okay? I'm doing okay, kind of. It's been a wild day. Um, we had a busy weekend. Um, so much stuff going on. I don't even remember Saturday, to be honest with you. I was in the store on Saturday, so that's probably why. It was uh, fairly busy in store. Um, it was the last weekend, well, not the last weekend, but it was the weekend right before Fort Days, which is happening this weekend, which is a little bit scary. Um, but uh, so a lot of people coming in on that weekend to purchase things and uh, kind of beat the crowd because next weekend or this coming weekend is going to be insane. I think also some people don't know what date is right. Yes, we did have some people, Andrew, if you heard him, he said, don't know what date is right. So we did have actually some people saying, I thought I was coming in for Fort Ligonier days and it's next week. So that did happen um, but a lot of people told me that they specifically were in to get in before the cold weather but also before fort days this weekend who is out there let's see hello nancy howdy thanks for joining us hello suzanne thank you for joining us today ag bead fam out there julie is tuning in with us hello julie hello norma thank you for tuning in hello michelle and hello mary ann how's everyone it's it's been a busy crazy time lately so saturday was busy in store and i literally had no time at all to do any of the um, organization and cleaning up and getting ready for the weekend this weekend so <clears throat> um yeah then yesterday sunday um, i thought was going to be my day to stay home and do some things around the house but that didn't happen because we had the Touchstone Center for Crafts Gala last night. So, well, yesterday afternoon, huh? For their 50th, yeah, it was their 50th anniversary. And it was yesterday afternoon, um, <clears throat> which was a really nice time. It was a beautiful day, um, very sunny. They did it at Falling Water. So Frank Lloyd Wright's Falling Water is very close to us. Um, well, I say very close. It's about a 45 minute drive or so, 30, 30 45 minute drive. And um, we went there and we had a great time for their 50th anniversary gala. And we went in the, in the, in the Frank Lloyd Wright Falling Water House basement. How about that? Usually they have stuff that's all blocked off. Yeah, we got to see the kitchen which normally on a guided tour, you don't get to see the kitchen. So we got to walk through the kitchen and see the stove and the refrigerator and, and the kitchen amenities, which the kitchen is fairly small for that house, actually, I thought. But um, <clears throat> for, the servants, well, for the servants, there was no other kitchen. There still has to be, you're entertaining people in that house. You have to have a kitchen. Um, but they did have a nice, nice stove and oven, that's for sure. And so we got to be up at Falling Water during this beautiful fall weather. Um, it was a gorgeous day. It was a little bit chilly, um, but beautifully sunny. And we dressed with extra scarves and things to, to get rid of the cold, any cold that was there. And so we got to tour the whole house on our own. There was no guided tour. You got free reign pretty much of the house. Um, all of the docents and the, you know, the people who take you through the house, they were all in all the rooms to make sure if you had any questions and also make sure people weren't touching things. Um, there's a lot of very valuable artwork and things in the house. And so, but we got to run all over and go up to the guest house. Um, I don't know if you all know, Falling Water has a guest house um, right above the house. And it's a really lovely guest house. I was, Andrew and I, we were talking and I said, what a nice studio this would be, right? Um, up there but yeah so lots of fun yesterday it was a really nice event um we were happy to see if it looked like a good turnout i hope they did well there is an auction um, for some artwork they had some artists come up and spend some time at falling water and a number of artists got to do that and then make and create different art pieces based on their time there so there is an exhibition up um, I'm sure we'll be posting information about that on our personal timelines on Facebook and whatnot. Um, we're going to gather all of our pictures together and make some posts about that. So 
we did we did that yesterday and that took pretty much from like kind of mid afternoon till most of the evening by the time we got home and took the drive back and stopped and got some food for dinner and made dinner we were pretty worn out by the end of it so and we watched <clears throat> yeah, we watched Doctor Who, but um, we were both kind of passing out as we were watching. Um, so uh, did a pretty early night last night, actually. And so today got up and I took the cats out for a little bit, um, ran some errands, and I've been working on taxes, which is the big thing. Um, so I've been doing all that and cramming all that in, trying to get everything done by tonight that I need to get done. Um, hopefully that's going to be a, a thing. I still have hours and hours of work left, but I'm hoping to get everything done tonight so that I can clear my mind and head on into this weekend fully, you know, ramped up for a good weekend. Let's see what else was going on. What else is everyone saying here? Hello, Donna. Thank you for joining in. Um, I'm beat. I just got my last load of laundry in the dryer. Nice. I haven't done laundry yet for this coming week, really. Um, we got to make sure we have enough, you know, towels and washcloths. We have Cynthia and Azalea coming up um, for Fort Days. So Green Girl Studios is going to be actually at Allegory Gallery. We sell their stuff. We've been selling their stuff in the store since the very beginning. And we're actually going to be able to do um, uh, some stuff with them for Fort Ligonier Days. So that's exciting. They're going to be out during the sidewalk sales outside most likely if they have extra stuff we'll probably put it in so that we can uh, make sure they have enough room for everything but we got to get the house ready that means cleaning the house for guests which thankfully it's just family so um it doesn't have to be like spick and span clean right yeah, but yeah. andrew says yeah it does no no and then um we got to he says that's what i say and since they were here last time and it wasn't that kind of clean I don't think it needs to be that kind of clean this time. It shouldn't, it, that shouldn't be the standard. <laughs> that shouldn't be the standard. No, the time you have to actually clean should be what dictates the standard. Um, so that's, you got to do the cleaning, got to do the laundry and make sure the beds and the, you know, they have washcloths and towels and all that stuff ready. I have to make sure I have my clothes clean for this week. Um, getting into this week and this weekend. I got to try and fit in a hair appointment, maybe, if my hairstylist can sneak me in. I hope so. Um, Doreen, if you're watching. Yeah, Doreen, if you're watching, please, please make me an appointment this week. Um, I have my other job still tomorrow, so I will be going to my other job. So that's pretty much an entire day away from doing stuff here um, that really I need to do. But we have to pick up a cabinet tomorrow early in the morning, which early for us, that's 9 a.m. That's pretty early for me. Um, so we have to pick up the cabinet tomorrow um, that Andrew got. And then um, I have to go to work. My aunt and mom retired from that same uh, business. And um, they're working on cleaning their desks out tomorrow, I believe. So that also means that they need to clean their computers out Um which means that I need to help them do that. So I'm going to be help them doing that. I'm going to be helping them do that. And then um, also my other work that I have for a normal day. So that's why I'm leaving early, picking up the cabinet early, getting into work, my other job even earlier than usual. So I have extra amount of hours in the day to help them. That may go into ev even my evening time. We'll see how long it takes to get the computers cleared out and things. Um, we have a TGBE meeting, internal meeting, tomorrow as well, I think, after my job, if I get home in time. If not, Andrew will be taking just Andrew will be taking that meeting. So we have that to go. So that's like the whole Tuesday is gone out of a week that really needs a Tuesday. <laughs> but um, yeah, but it is what it is, right? And the rest of this week, I have no idea yet. We still have to tear down the fake wall and move it around in the store. We still have to clear out the back of the store. We started organizing things and well, organizing is a not quite the right word. Um, we started sorting, let's say that. We started sorting things back there. So that is what um, our week looks like ahead, which is a little bit scary. Um, Suzanne says, I spent most of the day waiting for termite inspection, still waiting. I hope they come soon and you get that done soon because you don't want to wait too long for that, right? That's scary. 
Ah, ba, 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 ba. Donna says, OMG, I love his houses. Bet it was beautiful for Falling Water. Yes, it was beautiful. I have taken a tour through Falling Water only once before. Andrew has been there multiple times. Anytime we have um, guests who come in from out of town, oftentimes if we are able to plan it and get reservations, we take a tour and Andrew takes them to Falling Water. Um, so he's seen it a number of times, but this is the first time that we got to see the basement of the house. Which that's not, on the tour ever. that's not on the tour ever. The kitchen is not on the tour. Um, there were probably other parts, like I was walking up through some some pathways and things that probably you don't do on the tour. Um, but it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, let's see here. June says, been out of town for the last five days. Home again and we'll catch up on Miss Lives. Thank you so much, June. And remember, everybody, if you are catching up on Lives, please watch on YouTube. We're very, very close to getting our 4,000 watch hours. Um, but it's a 365 day ruling period. So if you watched, if we had like eight hours of watch time a year from now, and we only have four now, we're now back down four. So please continue watching on YouTube as much as you can, especially for those rewatches. If you miss something, um, I know a lot of you like to be live on Facebook and that's great. That's fine. Um, but if you watch, if you miss something, please think about watching it on YouTube. And while I'm saying this now, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please like, and thumbs up the videos as they're happening. And please, please, please hit that share button. We appreciate it. Um, Norma says, I love falling water. It would be great to see the parts not usually shown to the public. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I got in trouble though. Did you? I yeah. I think I got somebody in trouble. Andrew's going to get people in trouble. He once did a tour where they told the whole story of, all the, the, gossip. of all the gossip of falling water. Um, and they're not allowed to tell that like like the people who give the tours probably pretty much know all that gossip and stuff but they're not supposed to be telling the tour groups all the crazy family history of the kaufmans um there's a book called falling water rising and it kind of talks about some of that falling water rising he said if you can't hear him is the book um if and they talk about some of that stuff so um yeah so andrew started telling one of the people like oh yeah when i took this tour one time they told me all this and they were like um did you see that person here today and we're like no they're like, like when, was this? when was this was this recent and he's like no it was a while ago they're like okay um like, was it a man <laughs> so um we hope we didn't get anyone in trouble we gave very little information about who it was. So I don't think Andrew says I'm not a snitch. So yeah, um, the falling water tour, we didn't do a tour this time, but um, Andrew's been, tour, yeah, Andrew could have given a tour. He's been on enough of them and he's been on apparently the secret tour where they give all the secret information too. I still haven't seen the tomb. We still, yeah, there, there's, uh, there is a family tomb on the property. Correct. A crypt, actually, um, done with doors done by who? Brancusi. Brancusi did the doors, um, and it is hidden somewhere on the property. They do not share that with the tour groups. Um, we've never seen the crypt, but it's there. Um, so that's one thing. Every time Andrew goes, he's like, "So, have you heard about the crypt?" He tries to get information every time. Um, we, got closer. we got closer. It's apparently by somebody's office is what we were told. So that's, we don't know where the offices are either. So that's another thing, but we're going to start looking at that Google satellite photos and see if they, if, unless they blocked it out, they probably blocked mm -hmm. it out. Right. So let's see, Teresa's joining in. Hello, Teresa. Um, Cindy says we watch the lives on YouTube. If we miss them, thank you. That's great. And it's better quality. Seems to be better streaming quality, is what we're told. Um, it smooths out if there's any uh, problems. Hmm? It smooths out, like if it, in the live, if there's like, if the internet goes out or the signal's fuzzy for a second, then on YouTube it smooths that um, out. Andrew said it smooths it out faster on YouTube if there's an issue. I just know that in general the quality seems to be better if you're putting it on a big TV. Plus, um, Facebook got rid of their watch app for Apple TVs, so we can't watch, I know, we can't watch Facebook anymore on TV, 
Um, he bought a TV specifically so he could watch the great beat extravaganza in the store. Yep. And now we can't do it. Now we can't do it because it doesn't go. We only use Apple TV. Um, and Facebook doesn't make a watch app for that anymore. So we can't watch Facebook on the big screen anymore. And that's annoying. Because when Andrew and I are both watching it, it's easier to watch it on the TV than sit there on our both devices or cuddle around one like small phone. So, yeah. So watch it, you know, watch it where you want. But YouTube is nice. YouTube is nice. So today we have a new kit that we're going to show you. And in we're going to... Huh? In the mix. You can buy the mix separate. Oh, we have a new kit and a mix. The kit comes with a mix or you can buy the mix separately, right? Um, Donna says, I have an Apple TV and love it. We do too. I love the Apple TV. We have a, um, what's it called? A fire stick in the bedroom. Um, and I, you know, it's not one of the, it, I will say it's a cheapie. Um, I just got the cheapest one, but it is a little bit annoying to use compared to the Apple TV. But the Apple TV is also about 10 to 15 times more in price, probably. So, um, there's that, right? So yeah, um, so we have a new kit and this is um, for um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And so you can kind of probably guess what that kit's gonna look like a little bit, right? I know there's a lot of controversy about pink and October and pink washing, but we feel like any awareness risen and any money towards breast cancer research is important yeah so we are actually going to be giving a part of the um, money you spend on this kit um, to a cancer research foundation breast cancer research foundation breast cancer research foundation is the name andrew said we use charity navigator to see who had the best the highest ranking in um, charities that use funds for what they say as opposed to marketing or other stuff. So there you go. There you go. Um, Sylvia is asking, Andrew, what is pink washing? She has not heard that. It's like people just make anything pink to sell it. It's like when Pride Parade, when it's Pride and companies that um, that uh, do not have the best interests of the LGBTQIA community will sell things that are rainbow because it will make money, but they don't actually have interest. It's and, selling the stuff without the spirit of what it's for, yeah. really. And so like some of the things with the pink washing is that one of the most extreme ones was somebody was selling a, uh, a fracking bit that was pink. And there's been links that um, fracking is related or can cause cancer. So it's particularly breast cancer. So it's kind of like, uh, you know. Yeah, not so great. Problematic. Problematic. Michelle says, I use Smart View to watch on the TV. I don't know what Smart View is, but all I know is there is absolutely no way we can get a Facebook video to our TV. All the things show up. The TV shows up in the in the share and it says share this to your TV and do you want to access all the things on your network? We say yeah, of course, which just means we gave fe Facebook access to everything on our home network. And then it says here's your TV. Hit play to hit it on the TV and it doesn't work. So, yeah. Um doesn't work. Doesn't work for ours for Apple TV and Apple products from what I can find. Um, Susan says pink wash products are usually more expensive than their non-pink counterparts too. Can be. They think because they, you know, people assume that some of that money is going to go to cancer research. So yeah. Oh, it's on your Samsung. Yeah, Samsung, if you have a Samsung phone and Samsung TV, um, they work really well together and that would work, um, I'm sure. Um, although Facebook gets in the middle of that, right? And who knows? Um, but, but, but Norma says, I just ordered the Falling Water Rising book on Amazon. Thanks for the info. It looks really interesting. I think they should make a TV show out of it. Andrew said they should make a live TV show out of it. Because Frank Lloyd Wright also during his lifetime had some pretty wild things. 
Like his mistress was killed by an axe murderer and they tried to burn down Taliesin Wax. Or maybe Taliesin. Yeah, there's some wild stories. And you're like, what? Back when there wasn't like DNA tracing, they didn't have to worry. They just burn anything down they want. It doesn't matter who's around or what's going on. Yeah, it's so pretty wild. Yeah. All right. So we're also going to look at some Green Girl Studio stuff today. Um, we have a bunch of it in our online store, but we do not have a lot of it. Um, so all of this that I'm going to show you, and I'm going to put the, the website up here, allegorygallery.com. All that I'm going to show you um, is in the website. All right. It's already on the website. It's ready for you to grab and go. Um, but like I said, we only have like one to maybe three pieces of each that I'm going to show you. So if what I show you sells out before you get to it, um, feel free to go over to Green, greengirlstudios.com and check their website because they probably have it there. Yeah, but you're not going to get the same deal. No, we have a special deal for you today. Um, so from us at Allegory Gallery, if you buy $100 worth of Green Girl, um, not only will you get free shipping in the U.S., but we're going to throw in a free piece as well. So if you spend $100 on Green Girl Studios items in our online store, you'll get a free Green Girl Studios item in the package. All right. So, and like I said, also you get free shipping over $100 on every order to U.S. addresses. That's only for temporary. What? That offer. Oh, yes. The, the, the buy 100, get one. Um, that's a limited time. That's a limited time. So, um, I don't know how limited it's going to be. I'm going to give you a day or two, probably. Give you a day well, or two. The reason why it's limited is because... Um, we might forget after a long time. <laughs> yeah. Plus, we, we just have a limited amount. We don't have as much. And then Barb will go crazy. Yeah, Barb will go nuts if she has to try and remember something from three months ago. Um, Cindy says, you also won't wait from y'all, from us. It helps everyone to order from the retailers. Yeah, so we still buy. You know, we buy just like anybody buys from um, Green Girl Studios, from Cynthia and them. So we buy it off them and then we resell it. So when you buy it from us, you're still also helping them because we can continue to place orders of things that they have um, that makes it easier on them um, so that they don't have to continually make new things for each order. So when we buy it from them, we try to make sure what, they, what we order is in stock. Um, oftentimes we pick it out by going there or them coming up here. So we know they have it, it's ready to go. And it's in our website then and ready to go. Um, when you order from them, sometimes if you order things that aren't made yet, they have to make it for the order. It's just like when we do laser pendants and have to make them for the order. It becomes difficult. It becomes difficult. Not that I want to sway you from ordering from them because I want them to have good business too. Um, but if you order from us, it does help them as well. So um, nobody's hurt by this. There's no, there's no family rivalry going on here. Um, so I have... A whole tray of stuff back here and you probably you can see some of it right so we're going to take a look at some of those then we're going to take a look at this breast cancer awareness kit and then that's going to be it because i got to go back to hoarding myself away in my office and working on paperwork all night long so that's my life today that's what i gotta i said one more day to torture myself and then hopefully i can get that pressure out of my head so we'll see how that goes well you don't have a choice I do have a choice. It could extend longer, but I'd prefer it not to. <laughs> That's how you, call you pay fees. We always pay fees. Yeah, but not like more and more. More and more. Always more and more. All right. Um, Cynthia said, okay, so we took a lot off of our website so we could keep up. We are making in batches to make enough. Good. I'm glad you did that. I was hoping y'all would do that. Um, I think you should do seasonal releases if you ask me, but um, I'm glad that you took some stuff off because yeah, sometimes when you, we know, like we don't get as huge orders for like our wooden pendants and stuff as Green Girl does for their stuff. But every time you have to custom make something for an order, it holds everything up. It holds everything up. So um, yeah, that's, that's good. I'm glad. So some of these things um, you may find on our site and their site. Some they may be out of. Um, they're going to definitely have stuff, I'm sure, on their site that we're out of. But I'm going to show you these today. And we're going to take a look at some stuff. And we're going to take a look at that kit. And then we're going to be done. 
quick, quick today, not too long. It's not going to be too long. And then we're working on some other things for this week. But this week, I'm going to tell you, um, just to be honest, this week our lives may be sporadic. We're going to try and keep up, but once, um, definitely Thursday and Friday, there are going to be no lives. Um, that's Fort Ligonier Day. Sidewalk sales start Thursday. Um, Friday is an all-day event, um, and that's a big day. So unless we have a moment that we come live, it's not necessarily not at five. Mm-hmm. What's that? It's not going to be long. It's not going to be long. It's not going to be at five o'clock. Maybe. Um, maybe. Andrew May, since he's going to be away, away all weekend, apparently, getting out of Fort Ligonier Day somehow. I don't know how he is doing it again this year. <laughs> so we might do a live but it might I'll not be here you'll be here we'll do lives all weekend all weekend long but uh-huh. we are going to be on the 12th we're having is our takeover day is that our takeover day Correct. holy moly so that's wednesday wednesday i guess <laughs> we will be doing lives um starting <laughs> Night. Starting at midnight Eastern time on Wednesday morning. Um, yeah, new content posted. we will have new things and we'll be do- doing some lives and probably a store tour. Usually it's on a Tuesday, though, so at least I'm on a Wednesday. I'm not rushing tomorrow morning to pick up a thing, do a store tour, get ready to do work early staying late at least it's on a different day so there we go we're going to do something slightly different where we're going to do stuff that is like empowering and encouraging maybe you heard it here we'll see if it happens we'll see we'll see what we get to this is a busy week well i kind of feel like with with a lot of the the stuff like the sometimes it can seem very sales oriented which is important and essential to every small business so like if you know we have people have like a lot of sales or they have things that relate to sales and that's super important but i think we want like takeover days are a special thing for us where they allow us to um share more about who we are as a company and our core values and our mission statement um but also it allows us to do other things so like normally i wouldn't post like positive affirmations in the great beat extravaganza um but i think for our takeover day we can do whatever we want yeah it's kind of the spirit of our business we try to show the spirit of our business during our takeover days and a lot of times that's telling you where we came from and sharing a little bit about our family history talking about um, how the business started and what happened and what we've done so far. Um, And, you know, we like to try to be positive. We like to try to give good inspiration, give good, you know, juju out there into the world. So um, that can all be part of it. So uh, apparently Wednesday is our takeover day. Um, Today, I believe it's what, Christy? Christy. Christy is today. Um, So Christy um, will be, is doing her takeover day now. I haven't gone to see any of it because I've been locked in my office all day. Um, But make sure you check her out. Um, Andrew, what are you teaching on your takeover day? Who knows? Who knows? He may teach. He may not teach. He doesn't always teach. Um, It's a different thing. I also wanted to say that sometimes people think the takeover day is uh, a TGBE day. And the TGBE days are we have an hour and we teach something. Mm -hmm. But the takeover day is not necessarily that. No. So, because there was somebody that was somebody who else had asked kind of forcefully on one of the other presenters, how come they weren't doing this and they expect this and whatever. And then we we're like, well, that's not exactly what this is. So yeah. the takeover days, um, we've said this before, but the takeover days, just so y'all know are the days that the TGBE as a group gives each business time to do whatever they want. And every other business is supposed to stay off of the group during that time. So when we go, no one else is supposed to post unless it's about us. They can share memories or share things about Allegory Gallery, but 
they're not supposed to. So it gives every business in the TGBE one day to make the group whatever they want it to be and to show off their business however they want. That also means that companies can bow out entirely. They can choose not to use their takeover day and you won't see anything from them. I don't think anyone's done that yet. Um, but, but some people have decided to opt out of it. Some people are starting to think that they want to opt out of it. So, and that's fine. But that also uh, means that a company can do demonstrations that day. They can give sales that day. They can tell you about their business that day. They can do as much or as little as they want. So on a scheduled takeover day, um, a company may bow out entirely and that's okay. Um, or it should be okay. And you should not be expecting any particularly any particular thing on a takeover day. You should not unless be expe- they tell you. unless they tell you. But generally, for general takeover days, you should not expect to get demonstrations. You should not expect to get videos. You should not expect to get lives. You should not expect to get sales or giveaways. You should only expect whatever they ultimately tell you they're going to be doing. Just be happy. And just be happy to learn about their business. And, um, you know, every small business is having, you know, most of them are having a difficult time right now. It's not an easy time for small businesses. And everyone um, is trying to do as much as they can. Um, Some of the business owners in the TGB also have real jobs, real jobs, right? Um, Office jobs or jobs that they go to that pay most of their bills while they're building their business or... Um, you know, I have another job that I do and we've had our business for 11 years and I still have another job that I work at. So it's one of those things that not everyone has the time or the energy to do a full takeover day. We like to go midnight to midnight because that's just who we are and that's what we like to do. Because if you have a cow and it has milk, you milk the cow <laughs> with both hands. <laughs> Andrew says you milk the cow with both hands. That's one of his favorite sayings. Or you make the hay when the sun is shining. Yeah, it's the same thing, right? So while we have a day to ourselves, that no one else can come in and push our posts down lower in the group or anything like that, we get to do whatever we want, however we want, and let you know whatever we want about Allegory Gallery. So that... That is what the takeover days are about. And that's what you should um, expect. And if you see anybody else in the TGBE while you're there looking for expectations, let them know there's no expectations that day. Or you can send them to this video right here and let me let them know. You could just, and then be nice about it too, because some people don't know. Yeah. You know? That's why we like to tell you. But if you want to learn something, let me know in the comments and maybe... If you want to learn anything and Andrew can pull it together by Wednesday. A a request that most likely will not be fulfilled if you would like that. But may be fulfilled somewhere in the future too. Yeah. You know, it may not be Wednesday. Um, The Single Mom Officials is here with us today. Thank you for joining us today. What is it? The Single Mom Officials on YouTube. Single. The Single Mom Officials. Wow. It's a, probably a group or a page. Thank That's you for joining great. us, no matter what. Um, I've seen you. I think you've seen you before. So thank you for tuning in. Um, Donna says, "You know, her live will be so much fun." Christie's oh, today, yeah, yeah. And tomorrow's candy. Um, Cooper. Norma said, "Christie did two lives so far today. She's going to do one more." Nice. Sylvie says, "Expectation-free days." Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, Michelle says, "Ag takeover days are fun." Um, we really put our back into it. So we say we don't, don't expect anything, but we're like on the hour. Yeah, posting. every hour we schedule posts and posts and get in and usually add more to what we've already scheduled for the day. Um, we, like, we have time, we have games. Sometimes we have find it on our website or we have scavenger giveaways, hunts. scavenger hunts. We try hard. Um, Marianne says, Nat, you milk the cows with a milking machine. <laughs> I don't have that. He says, I don't have that technology. I gotta gotta save up. I gotta know. have enough sales I during know. takeover days to save up to buy the milking machine. We're lucky we can do. It. We're, We're lucky we have two hands still. Um, let's see here. Donna says, "I love takeover days." Some um, people don't like them. Um, Cynthia says, "We will try to leave early to help with the live. That'd be fun if you get here for the live on Wednesday." Cynthia's planning on being here on Wednesday sometime. If they leave early enough, they can help us in the live. Maybe we'll go for a walk. Go for a walk on a live? We'll take you around and draw inspiration from nature. That would be fun. I know you like a walk, Cynthia. Cynthia does like a walk. I like a walk, too. 
and it is particularly beautiful. Yeah, and no jumping on river rocks yeah. from either one of us, any I of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna like put, put Barnaby's leash on me. Donna says yes, and I'm gonna try and watch Candies tomorrow. Nice. And also, if you like the Takeover Days, it's very, very important for you to say that you like them yes. on the Takeover on the TGBE page. Yeah. Because one of the TGB conversations group. that we're having tomorrow is getting rid of the takeover days. Yeah, there are so. some people, um, some of the group is wondering if the takeover days are necessary and if they actually bring anything to, you know, to the TGBE at all. So there's talk that, t that the takeover days may be going away. So if you like the takeover days, please get out there, support the people who are on their takeover days. Write in the comments, I love these takeover days. Um, if you feel that that is valuable information and you think it's fun to get to know the businesses and what they do, make sure you let that be known. Because some people feel that takeover days are not worthwhile to do. Well, and there there's people in different points of their lives too. So like some of them, they're closing down their physical store and they're overwhelmed with everything. And so they just, they're just overwhelmed right now. You know, that, it's the same thing with these lives. If I sat here and talked to you for two hours and not a single person commented to me, I would feel like, what is the reason? Why are we doing this? Um, so they need that feedback. If people don't see the feedback to these, they don't understand that they're worthwhile. We love takeover days because it gives us the one opportunity, like I said, to actually show you who we are. Um, and we can do that anytime, but it gets lost in amongst all the other talk on the site. Well, so, we try to be respectful of everybody too. So yeah, we try not to over post in the group. Like we could post like ten times a day in the TGB group, but that wouldn't be fair to everybody else. Um, I guess there's not really any fair or not fair. It'd just be a little bit bad, probably. Um, so yeah, if you like the takeover days, let them know when they're doing their takeover day. Say thank you for the takeover day. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. Um, Even if it's on a rewatch. Yeah, rewatches. Go rewatch them. Check them out if you missed any. Uh, make sure, you know, every rewatch, re every company can see if their viewer numbers are going up on those rewatches. We see how many people can view it or how many people have viewed it. So if they see a lot of views happening on their takeover day videos, then that's a good thing, right? Um, Suzanne says, Andrew, I would just like to learn about patterns in general. Well, sure, we can do that. <laughs> That's easy. So that's Let's easy. Do Let's do it. Um, Norma says, I would enjoy seeing an inspirational nature walk with you two and Cynthia and Azalea. I think that would be nice, right? Well, who's you two? Me and you, William? Yeah, me and you and Cynthia and Azalea. Maybe. I'll be around Wednesday. No, Maybe. I'll be at the store Wednesday, but for a five, at, live at five, I should be done. Maybe. We're going to walk. You might be busy. He loves to exclude me, everybody. It's Maybe like, look, you should see the smile Australia. on his face right now. We'll go on the best Thinking about ever. excluding me and making Maybe me sit and work. Picnic and we'll send you pictures of our delicious see? picnic. See how he his smile is so big right now. Hey, he's practically, are he's really practically beautiful. practically cackling. I, if I cackled, they could hear it. He's close. They could hear it. He's boy, close. Yeah. His head's starting to tilt back with that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, everybody, let's let's flip the camera around. Let's get to it. It's been 40 minutes and I haven't shown you anything. They can see my new hat. <laughs> Andrew got a new hat. Let me flip the camera first before you see up my and nose. I got the snag bag. The swag, swag bag. Swag bag. I've been doing too much stuff with snag lately. Snag. Andrew got a new hat. William got it for me. I did. It was, I said, they were giving out swag bags and you know, we, we don't like to get too crazy. So we usually take one between the two of us where we go places and, um, they listed all the things like you get a lantern, you can get a, a tote. And I knew we were going to get a tote cause that's just what we're going to do. And then this was sitting on the table, this little hat. And I said, what bag is the hat in? And they said, this is the last one. I said, oh, and they said, you can have the hat. So I got the hat for Andrew. Sometimes it pays to be the board 
remember. <laughs> you didn't get anything special for that. I got a pin that I don't get to keep. I know. It's like they recycled this. I don't I think like, they. Who's gonna take? The I don't think they. I don't think they meant for you to send. Them. They did. I saw. I saw. A pile someone of else it. piled them in, but I don't no. think they can't you, reuse that. They use. What are they gonna do? Event. Put someone else in the back. They use it for events. That way, so you don't forget it. Oh, I guess. I you guess know, somebody they, might forget it. It's going to be in somebody's desk. Donna says, Norma, same here, about seeing an inspirational nature walk. Um, Cindy said, hey, can we set stones when we come to visit in a couple days? Zelia has some cabs to set. Sure. I'm going to be making my little dolls coming up soon. Dolls? Yeah, my doll pendants. What doll pendants? You know, I always make them dolls and um where they got a face and stones and stuff i don't know I don't you know. know i don't know don't act like you don't know my own work i don't know what you're talking about oh god <laughs> marianne says just a little cackle donna says love the hat looks warm michelle says love beanies right Oh, those ones? You're going to make more of those? Yeah. But Act like you make these affordable. all the time. Like he's just so busy making these. I make some things. These. And like the mermaid and stuff like that. I like these when you do them. These are like my favorite things you make. I'm going to make one that I think I'm going to make a small one and hopefully we can cast it. Did you all see, by the way, he made necklaces out of these to submit? Um, and they probably won't get in. I've been on a roll, <laughs> been on a roll of not getting stuff. I was like, oh, that's nice. Oh, wow. So Andrew's going to plan to make more of these while you're all here, I guess. I was going to do on my birthday, but then we had to work. And so I didn't have time. And then. So this is setting stones. This will be good practice. Yeah. You're, you want boot camp and stone setting. I just did one on tab setting too. So. Nice. We're going to get crafty up in here. Teresa says, love those, Andrew. Suzanne says, very nice. Donna says, I, capital, love them. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some small ones so it's not super expensive. And then we're going to cast them. I'm going to ask Cynthia to cast them for me. And then that way, they're not the same because they'll be all made of metal. But then you can actually, um, you know, they're a little bit more accessible. So instead of like 200 and whatever they are. These, yeah, I think are actually be like much more than that. 20 bucks. These are I think 375 or something each. The necklaces are like a thousand. There's some good, good quality stones with that. All right, everybody, let's look at some Green Girl Studios. Green Girl Studios. I love these things. What's the first thing we should look at? How about this? How about a Medusa head? And this has a nice large hole through it. I don't know if you can see. There it is. See my, there. This is a nice large hole through here. The Medusa head. I love that one. With the little snakies. Did you know in World War II, they had this thing called the Medusa Circle? And it was a thing where they had, um, they had the intent of blocking the German invaders from coming and for this raid and it worked. Hmm. Hmm. Or maybe somebody made that up. <laughs> anyway, we have that in the online store. Let's pull another one. I'm just pulling random everybody. These are all in the online store at allegorygallery.com. If you buy $100 worth of Green Girl Studios stuff from us, you get one free bead we'll throw in randomly in your package we'll try and make it kind of match whatever you've got if we can if there's any kind of rhyme or reason um but you know don't quote me on that we're gonna do our best but it's not a guarantee so this is a tassel it's a tiger connector what tassel we just made it i don't know the bullet. i only move this stuff here and put these back in there little thing mm. I didn't touch anything else. I was going to show it what that looks like. They probably seen it already. <laughs> I'm bored of it. So this is a tiger connector. It says a tiger doesn't lose sleep over the opinion of sheep. Correct. 
Correct. So that is in our online store ready for you. I love this one. The little moth, the little fuzzy eared moth. That's antenna. I know. I know. It's like they got fuzzy ears though. This has a little loop on the back. I love moths conceptually. <laughs> but when they eat my clothes. Oh, the clothes they... eating moths. Yeah, we <laughs> we were getting ready for touchstone um, for the gala yesterday. And I pulled out my suit. And unfortunately, a moth must have gotten in there because most of my, well, not most, but and of course, it's always right where, you know, people are definitely going to see it. So like right on the lapel, there was a there was a scratched out place from where the moths got it. And then on the leg, there were like two holes on the leg. So we had really bad moths this year for some reason. Yeah, the last two years, actually, it's been a little bit bad. Well, I didn't realize it until because we've been, we don't for the pandemic we didn't really dress we didn't up. go anywhere all our dress so. clothes were just stored away so either between last year and this year and then nothing fit oh, and i that said was you know thing. i'm body positive except less so <laughs> when i have to get ready for these kinds of stuff right because it was like i was like these pants fit and then like uh it's called inappropriate <laughs> I squeezed my hind end into wine. I said, this is so tight. If I bend, if I drop something and bend over, <laughs> it's going to be... Uh, Everybody's getting a show. Terrible. I'm going to have to wrap this scarf around my waist. <laughs> I, I'm i thankful that we brought those big scarves because I was freezing. Yeah, it, it got cold. Um, And I was hot getting ready. And then we went over there. And then I was like, what? So this is the hand with the eye. I wear that one almost every day. Yeah, Andrew has one of these he wears all the time. Not wearing it today because we just popped over here to do the live. Mine's in bronze and just on simple leather. Yeah. But wouldn't that look cool, cool just on leather with some some stone? Sylvie says, is the Tiger Link too big for earrings? Mm. I'm going to say, unless you have robust ears, this is too heavy for earrings. Um, Let me feel um some people wear big ones you know there's a new trend going on where they're making over the ear ear wires and yeah. if you do that then you can put whatever you can put whatever big earrings are in and they're getting so big that they have to support them over the top of the ears so there's a wire that comes up and wraps over the top of your ear to hold the whole thing on your ear so it's more like an ear cuff kind of idea but that's what um, if you saw the trend report, trendsetter report in the TGBE, Andrew showed some of that. And so I, I don't know if that'll catch on, you know, like mass consumption. I don't know. I think the idea you said that there are people are framing their faces now that we had masks for so long. I think that's an interesting idea, though. Well, I think deeply about these things. <laughs> Suzanne said, it is too big or heavy for me, but to each his, her, their own. You know, some people, they do like Borneo style. And I, one person came in the store and they had these huge crystals hanging from their ears. And their earlobes were no joke touching their shoulders. So if you like that, then go ahead. Right. This is a fish barrel bead. With all these little fishy swimming around it. A fish tube. Fish tube. And it does have a nice big hole. These holes are bit, these are like good for two millimeter leather at least. They're good for bracelet too. It feels nice. Hopefully that's, I don't know if I'm too close to the camera. Are you seeing that okay? That looks better. It was starting to get fuzzy, I think, by the time I just picked up a little bit. So there you go. Um, Donna says, Suzanne, same here, too big. Sylvia says, thank you, too old to have my earlobe stretch or sag. It's never too late. <laughs> it's never too late. Next. They do have a surgery then that you can do. I We watched this one plastic surgery show and this dude, he kept stretching them and stretching them until the skin was going necrotic. And um, so we watched that the, you can replace parts of your earlobe. I saw someone on Instagram. They had stretched there so much that the skin split. So it was just two hanging things off of their ear. 
and now they just tie it in a oh knot. Oh my word! <laughs> I was like, because at, at, in one Instagram photo they had their ear, and it was like this huge. What do you call them? The gauges. The gauges. And then the next one, I said, but their ears like, did they go for surgery and have? No, you could tell it had cut apart and they tied it up. And it was like a little bow tied up. Oh boy. Yeah, that was a little bit. <laughs> Michelle says, ew. <laughs> Suzanne says, stop that. Gross. To each their own. Gross. <laughs> right? That's not for me. Though. <laughs> no. I thought no. about piercing my ears, though. I've thought about that. Because I have so many cool earrings. And um, nowadays, it's less likely that I'll get my ass beat. So, <laughs> so you could. Maybe. So this has a lot of eyes on it, eyes floating in there, and it says, I shut my eyes in order to see. I think Sheila made that one. So there's that. That's These are all on our website at allegorygallery.com. If you buy $100 worth, um, you get, if you are in the U.S., you get free shipping on orders over $100. You also, if you buy $100 worth of Green Girl stuff from our site, not from the Green Girl site, from the Allegory Gallery site, We'll throw in a free piece for you. That's our old show special for the, Green Girl. The old show we used to do. Um, Suzanne says, I love the eye pendant. Me too. I like that Gauguin quote too. Though, if you want to hear about dishing the tea. So, all my life, when I was little, I heard about how... Um, uh, Van Gogh cut his, he was so depressed he cut his own ear off. Okay? Isn't that the story we've all been told, right? Correct? That's the story. So, anyways, when you read these people's journals, so the day after his ear mysteriously got cut off, Gauguin, because Gauguin and Van Gogh are friends, Gauguin fled where they were and had his fencing swords sent back to get so in my mind because these fools also be drinking stuff with lead in it <laughs> um, and getting wild and drunk they probably go again in him my theory is is that they were like getting wild and and Gauguin was going to show off and show off his fencing swords his new fencing swords <laughs> with his friends while they're drunk and he then cut his ear off and then he got drunk. He's so, they're both so drunk. They're like, oh no. And then he's like, ah, I gotta go. <laughs> I'm out of here. Why so do this, you cut yourself? This is a little songbird tube. I like this one. I love these tubes. I love the tubes. I like to put chain dangles from the bottom. Yeah, you can dangle them. like that. Correct. Suzanne is says I'm debating on getting my septum done. I've seen people do it and it can look good. Mm -hmm. The only thing though is that I have issues already with my nose, so I don't want to have add more. Yeah. Like I, what what when, happens if it gets infected and then that thing gets rotted out? When I was young, I definitely I wanted to get my septum done. And then I just never did. And now I don't think I would. But I think it's cool when people do. I don't have any problem with it. I like it. One of um, my friends put one in. And the, she had these little glass beads on either side. And they were kind of gray colored. And so the <laughs> whole time, it just looked like she had boogies. <laughs> Wear something that doesn't make you look like you have boogies. That's the moral of that story, right? Correct. No matter what age you are, don't look like you have boogies coming out. Well, maybe if you like it. <laughs> if you like it, maybe it's your way of getting attention, right? You can do whatever you want. <laughs> so we have root babies. This one has a nice big hook in the back. You can also, this one's little feet connect. If you didn't notice, you can dangle something from the feet as well. In the hair. And the actual hair, you could hang things or dangle things or connect things. You can use it multiple ways because the hair connects. You have the hook in the back. You have the hook at the feet. You can be. You can wire things in the hair too. Yep. So I didn't know this, but you can eat the fruit from the mandrake. It's probably not good for you, but what? I was seeing people eating the fruit on the internet. And what? 
It looks like a little tomato, and they said it smells so good. And they're still alive, for they're sure. They're still alive, and they didn't tell us report that they had tummy card ones. So. Norma says, I like root babies. Me too. When we were little, our grandma would we'd see a knot in the tree, and our grandma said that that's where the babies came from. And we we're like, oh, really? But we saw Falcon Crest, so we know where the babies come from. I don't know what that is. Is that a soap it's opera? Like, it was a nighttime soap opera. Okay. The it nighttime. Like, yeah, it was uh, not daytime TV. Was that one Falcon Crest, and they were the wine people, and then Dallas was the oil people, and then there was Knots Landing. I don't know what Knots Landing what they were. I think so. This is a neighborhood. heart and key pendant. Heart and key pendant. Well, anyways, we were like, uh, Grandma, are you sure that's where the babies come from? <laughs> Look at this little baby. Look at that little baby. With the petal baby. Little petal baby. Cut out, goes side to side. Cute little petal baby sleeping in its little petal form. I think that's so cute when it's painted. Yeah. It's cute now, but it's like extra. 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 Read all about it and then go buy it on the website. Here's a castle in the clouds. Now there's two versions of this piece. This one is the one that goes all the way around. Yeah, there's also one that's halved off. Mm -hmm. But I don't think we have that one. I don't know. I think we only have the full <laughs> version. It goes all the way around. It makes it heavy and it doesn't like sit. But I like it because it turns as you wear it and it can turn if you put it on a head pin or something. Or have a beaded dangle at the bottom. Beaded dangle. If it's going to turn, just embrace it. Embrace the turning. It's who like likes Howl's moving castle? Who likes buttons? I do. I do. That one was made off of. Um, so when Cynthia and Greg got married, they um, he made the buttons for his wedding vest. And that is off of the button from the wedding vest. Nice. Which you, this one also would be super good if you colored resin, like tinted resin with some chalk pastels and then did like a faux kind of cloisonne. Or actually that's called um, champlevé. I guess this could be considered. You just fill it in the recesses. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. Like that. So that's a button. And then we have this geometric. Greg also made that one. That'd be good with <coughs> some square leather. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be cool. So we have that one. If you're just joining in, we're showing you Green Girl Studios items, just some of them that are on our website, because it's always better to see them in video than just in a photo, better than a photo than just by words. Um, and if you purchase $100 or more in Green Girl items from our website at allegorygallery.com, we'll throw in a free bead, a free Green Girl Studios bead for you. Plus, if you're in the US, you'll get free shipping off of $100. And it says green girl pieces are magnificent. Plus, it gave us an excuse to talk about my family coming on Wednesday. Yep. Look at this. Marty Moth. Marty Moth. Marty Moth's got the bail in the back. Those beautiful big wings, that beautiful smiling face. Very content, Marty Moth. He sometimes looks sassy. He does sometimes look sassy in person. But he's very content as a moth. I have a painting with a cat head on a moth. Next. <clears throat> we have this piece on the back. It says, some pursue happiness, others create it. That's one of my favorites. And it's this floral heart. 
Andrew said that's one of his favorites. It's true. Suzanne said the Marty Moth is beautiful colored. Yes. Didn't you do one like that? Who was painting in the group? Somebody was painting in the the design challenge group. I think it was Suzanne, wasn't it? I think so. I can't remember. Whoop, almost dropped it. Next up, sea turtle. How cute. How cute. Are you seeing anything new that y'all didn't know Green Girl did? There's so many designs. There are like what, 600 or 700 different designs in total? I think there's 500. 500? I thought they got up to the 600 numbers. They did, but they looked like to keep them in order. Ah. Uh. So 500 some different designs. And this is not all going to be always available if you didn't hear that news. Yeah, if you missed the news, um, they are taking um, some of the items that are not currently in stock and they're going to be doing them in batches. So you are not always going to be able to get everything from the Green Girls website any longer. Um, that's because making things to order, especially metal like this, is a pain <laughs> um honestly hard. it's really hard work because maybe you know they have to make like a, a number of each of these every time they make one so if they have to make this one for example this one and this one may be on the same thing so maybe they have to spin everything and then they have to clean everything up just to get you that one piece because you're the only one that ordered that one but they have to fulfill your order so now they're cutting back on their website so that what's on the website will be more in stock or one of the pieces that they're making during this current time period. And they're it's one of those things where they can focus on new designs. Too. Yeah, there's also no time to make new designs when you're so busy um, trying to keep up with orders for all the old ones you don't have right now. So it'll allow them to make new ones. And so if you see something you like here, here, please grab it. Um, we have these in stock ready to ship. It helps, um, as Cynthia said, when you order from retailers for their pieces, because we wholesale off of them, or they wholesale to us. We sell them to you, but we always check, you know, we always order what they have in stock. So it takes the load off of them to, to complete an order for us. We try. we try our best. Giraffe. Who doesn't love a giraffe? They're even more cute in real life. I know. It says, reach for your dreams on the back. Until you have an evolutionary uh, change. <laughs> mutation. Gene mutation. Human eating giraffes. Long necks. Then they're you ever not. see where they wore the necklaces to stretch the necks out? Yes, I have seen that. I think it's cool, but then they had these things like if a woman is caught cheating, then they just remove the the necklaces and then they die because their necks collapse because they can't hold their ne own neck up. It's true. It gets to the point they can't hold their own neck up and then they die. That's terrible. That is terrible. Um, Nancy says, I have green girl pieces from 18 to 20-ish years ago from a show in Clearwater, Florida. I've been smitten from the early days. Yeah, I've been doing that show for a long time. Here's an axe. Here's an axe. I like this one. I think that's cool. Did Greg do the axe too? I think so. We used to do all the Florida shows back in the day so you could see our family. If you didn't hear Andrew, he said he used to do the Florida shows all the time that they could to see their family, their parents in Florida. So this is an axe. There's a hole um, on the top and there's a hole on the bottom. So you can hang it either way and you can dangle from it if you would like to. I met most of the, the beef people through on the shows. Yeah, Andrew did shows um, for Green Girl long before we had a store. And he met a lot of the people that we still know from doing those. help out sometimes. For big shows, you help out. Nancy says, I might could use that axe. <laughs> I could imagine. I could imagine. Hello, Amanda. Thanks for joining in. Next up is a fish. I'm going to get that band that everybody loves with their Vikings. Hylong. Oh, Hylong. That would be good. Right? 
and going to the going to their concert wear an axe here's a fish i don't know if this is a trout you know what kind of fish this is cynthia's on here the long one it looks like a trout or something to me but i'm not a fish person so i don't know but there's a fish who doesn't want a fish a hmm it is a really good link it has a hole in the front and a hole in the back next up got a horse we used to go fishing Alexa thought I asked how does a horse sound and she gave me a, a winning horse winning is that what they call it when a horse whinnies name to name what's the difference between winning and Alexa stop Alexa stop She thinks we're talking to her. We're not. We're not. What's that song? You think that this song is about you? <laughs> that you think this song is about you? You're so vain. Cynthia says, I like that fish. I like that fish too. I don't know what kind of fish it is, but I like it. It's you very. Fishing at um, Sebastian Inlet. As children. Sebastian Inlet. Okay, next up. Yeah, Nancy says Carly. Carly Simon, right? You're so vain. That pops up in my playlist quite often, actually. That's my music I listen to. Seek and you will find with the squirrely, squirrely grabbing its acorn from that oak tree with the oak leaves in the back. That is adorable. That's very fall right now. All the squirrels around here are going crazy looking for food and storing their food away. Mm -hmm. They say that a squirrel forgets like 80% of where they put their food, I think, something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Andrew says, I know, I know. I'm digging out my balls. I got so infuriated. Infuriated? Because they dig out my bulbs and they plant peanuts. Yeah, they switch the, <laughs> Andrew's bulbs, all <laughs> the flower bulbs, all get pulled out by the squirrels and they throw them on the grass outside of the flower beds. And in return, Andrew gets a peanut planted <laughs> by the squirrels. Oh, he's got corn growing in our flower bed because of that. Yeah, we do have corn growing. They must have planted some corn. We did not. Uh oh. And we got accident. Huh? Oh, well. I just heard squealing tires. Was there an accident? No. We should I call. Think they get wild. They don't want to miss their turn. There's a um. The road. There's a bridge near here, Star Cottage Studio, where the road started deteriorating, and instead of replacing the road or the bridge, they have for the last almost full year now, um, just blocked off one side of the road. So there's a stop sign there that hardly anyone ever stops at because they're like oh there's no one coming i'm not going to stop they do come but they do sometimes come and I they do some one yesterday the other day and the car behind me was following me instead of stopping and waiting their turn i was like that's not i know like when there are like lines of cars like they don't take a turn and go like okay this side go now this side go no they just one side goes, the whole line of cars go, which yeah, makes me I'm crazy. Like, I hope you don't mind waiting because I'm about to turn in a couple. I know they, feet. and then they crawl right up on our back end, and then we're like, we're turning soon. Like it's literally like just a few feet down the road from us, and so we just heard squealing tires. Probably somebody who should have stopped but didn't stop, and then had to stop. Gets wild. I don't mind it though, because people will go through here super fast. Yeah, at least it slows them down sometimes because it is only a one lane road now. Um, but when it's not, the hill that comes past Star Cottage Studio can be crazy. Like it makes your car go fast because it's hard to apply the brakes all the way down the hill. And if you're not really doing it, like some people don't care. They just torpedo through here like, like it's a, a raceway. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past people to drive 80, 90 miles an hour past Star Cottage Studio here sometimes. So 
this stop sign, there are there are signs like for two miles back that say there's a one lane road. So everyone has finally slowed down through here. Okay. So next up, owl. Owl. This is a cute little owl with its big eyes. Mm -mm. Owl. There's a number of owl, owls from Green Girl. I don't know how many we have. We Andrew's an owl fan. Um, Cynthia also said um, uh, it's a the kind of fish that's good for an earring or a necklace link or a pendant or a bracelet. That's the kind of fish that is. Nancy says squirrels need anger management. Why must they throw things? I know, right? Or they chew stuff. Or they, they, are, they are cute, but people don't realize how destructive they are. Yeah, sometimes they destruct themselves by chewing the power lines and then getting zapped by the transformers. Zapping in front of our old store. Mm -hmm. Donna says, there is a four-way stop I'm oh, in the town closest to me that people don't know what to do. Yeah, people are like, don't know what to do in it. Like Pennsylvania law, if all four cars happen to arrive at, well, three cars, I guess, but it's the person to the left. And I don't know how they decide that if there's all four cars, but it's the cardinal direction. But it's supposed to be the person to the left if there's like three out of the, the, the people arriving. But people don't know how to do it. Marion says, try traffic circles. We have a few of those around here. Our town is built on one. But it's not a roundabout in that it's yield. You actually stop at all entrances to the roundabout here in town. But um, at the airport nearest us in La Trobe, the town over, um, they have a roundabout. And people get very um, worried about that sometimes. I like roundabouts, but um, you actually, you really have to know where you're going or you're making another loop around. <laughs> if you don't know where you're getting off. Um, I don't mind that. I know. When I was driving in France, they had a ton of roundabouts, and um, I got very good at it. I think, but it is it is it can be anxiety ridden to get into a roundabout when there's big big roundabouts. Or if you don't know where you're going, your GPS tells you go the not right direction. Yeah. Because our old GPS used to say turn left. <laughs> and I was like, you're not going to turn. Left. You cannot turn left. There's no left. If you do, you're facing traffic. Marion says, I think that fish looks like a spawning salmon. Could be. Could be, right? Amanda says, everywhere I go, squirrels drop things on my head. Mm. Mean squirrels. Mean, mean squirrels. They're cute, but that um, is not my favorite. Yeah. Nancy says, roundabouts are going to kill all the oldsters loose down here. <laughs> Yeah, they can be they can be troubling a little bit, right? How about this? This is not troubling. This is a butterfly key. This is a butterfly key. It has a little butterfly in the top. And they as with Gringer, they like to make sure you can use these in multiple ways, right? So the key has a hole up top and multiple holes actually around here if you wanted to connect things or wire wrap things in there. And then there's also a hole at the bottom too. That's the uh, Cynthia actually makes jewelry. Yeah. Cynthia is a bead maker who actually makes jewelry too. So surprise when you can actually use her pieces to make different combinations of things, right? Like you can always tell when somebody makes jewelry and then somebody who doesn't. Yeah, a pretty piece is not any good if you, it's not functional. Like one of our friends, I'm not going to say who it is. <laughs> I'm not going to name names, he says. I'm not <laughs> Oh, that's a designer's problem. <laughs> and all the people at the table, the side eye. Right. All those designers the at the table. <laughs> Amanda says, do you carry Cynthia's entire collection? We do not. We try, we, we try and we have off and on. Um, but again, when we purchase from them, we try to purchase things that they have um, already in stock that they don't have to make for us. Um so we usually try to purchase as much as we can of what is available at the moment when we purchase. Um, now there are probably at least 100 or 200 items 
of theirs in the online store, but they have over 500 items, I think. So it's. I don't think anybody has them all. Yeah, I don't think anyone at any moment has them all. It would Not be. Even made. No. Yeah, they don't even have them all made at any one point in time, generally, unless they're doing a huge. Back when they do a huge show, maybe. Maybe. But even, but then. even then. Um, so no one really carries the entire collection probably at once, but we do have a lot of them. So if you go to our website, allegorygallery.com, you'll see all, there's an entire Green Girl tab um, or collection that you can go to and see all of them. Um, and there's also some, I think some, uh, I don't know what I was just going to say. I blanked out. That happens sometimes. If we don't have it and they don't have it, check online because there's regional partners and they might have it from old stock or yeah. special orders or yeah so next up this little bird this is beautiful i've seen people do earrings with this little bird and they are lovely they are lovely so this is definitely light enough to do earrings with little bird Um, Donna says, I bought Azalea's fall inspired kit and I love it. Oh, good. Thank you. She tried hard. She did. She did good. She did a good job. She had to keep all the money. <clears throat> Here is another owl. We're going to, hopefully when they come up, we'll make another couple kits for her to make money for school so that she has it in the fall when it starts again. There's now. I'm going to start going a little faster because I have work to do and I got to go, everybody. But you can see these all at allegorygallery.com. Imagine what that butterfly key would open. What would the butterfly key open, everybody? I don't know. Look at this little mushroom. This little mushroom person. It's a cute little thing. Plus, my light's going away in here that the sunlight's going away. I see somebody must have had an accident because I see flashing lights. Great. There. Now we'll never get home. No, there's still traffic still moving. Okay. <laughs> see what I think about it. <laughs> no, I already thought, are they okay? Do we need to call anyone? Now it's like, am I going to get home? We do actually have another way home too. So here's a little courage baby. Courage baby and his little sack. That's when Azalea would was supposed to be a stylized azalea. A stylized azalea baby. That's for we made that one of our friends um, was pregnant and they were really nervous about having a baby. And so Courage. They made this uh, it's not a, uh, what's the word for prayer beads? It's like a it's like a Greek thing. The Greek word for prayer beads? Yeah, it's like Talmazad or something. I don't it's know. Like a string that's like six inches long. Marianne, do you know that one? She might know. You seem to know the the trivia. Well, Donna's anyway. got to go. Thanks for showing all these lovelies. Who is it? Donna. Oh, see ya. See ya, Donna. Thanks for joining us. Suzanne, the Hidden Valley. Marianne says, the secret garden. What's the key going to open? Mm. Right? How about this rhinoceros bead? How about that? This is a big bead. When you were growing up, that was one of our favorite movies. Which one? The secret garden? Secret garden. My mom loved it. Your mom loved it. Marianne doesn't know that one. Um, especially the tea. Next up. Button, tree button, tree heart. There's the loop in the back. Tree heart button. See, the problem is not necessarily that people can't get through, is that the people get um, looky loo. Yeah. They got to look at the accident as they go by. And so that's how the cars don't get through. Here's another button. This little, what is this one, Andrew? Is this a little cabbage baby? What, what, what? I just almost dropped it. This one. That's like a flower face. Flower face? It could be a cabbage baby. It looks like a cabbage baby to me. 
Flower face? Did you? I never did. Babyin? Babyin. Babyin. Who likes frogs like I like frogs? And then I had a, a Billy and a Bobby. Cabbage Patch? Yeah. Boy, you had a lot of Cabbage Patch dolls. Well, the one um, I wasn't supposed to have it was a girl. <laughs> oh, you were only allowed the boys. And so they made me the blue ones. And my mom, she made the one, and she used the infant head, but made a, like a grown body on it. <laughs> And so it looked a little bit proportionally weird. Cause it was so so these were homemade Cabbage Patch dolls? You got the head and then you made the body, right? I don't know. I just saw them fully developed, I thought. Um, I thought they made them. I don't know. Maybe. And I never had one. Them, but we, we made them. Yeah. And she would make them really detailed. So they would have... Like, <laughs> little private parts. <laughs> they even had private parts. All of our dolls had private parts. All the dolls, your because your mom made them detailed, uh, made them real to life. She added them to the ones my grandma made. <laughs> and she would get horrified. <laughs> Marianne says, but what do the looky-loos hope to see? Because you don't want to see blood and guts. I know. Maybe they do. I love this coral branch. You know, sometimes they start taking pictures like they're the news or something. I and know. Like, ah. See, I told y'all we had a lot of these in stock. I just keep pulling random and they're all different so far. I haven't pulled up one that is the same. Like bingo. I know. Like bingo. Huh? We'll make a bingo game. This is a moth fairy. I don't know if you can see. There's a face, though. There's a head, face, body, arms are crossed, a little bit, hands are crossed. It's hard to see the small details on this unless you can zoom to zoom in, and I can't. I wonder if that person ended up in the swamp. Um, Cabbage Patch dolls started as a soft doll pattern with a sewn face, then were developed from there, Norma says. Well, mine, you go by the heads, and then you get like an adoption certificate, and then... The I thought they were hard. just like all fully formed dolls already. Maybe the people who don't sell. Yeah, because like I go to the toy store and they were there and I thought they were the full doll. But my memory could be wrong also. And I never those. I never had one. So love is the key, says this key pendant or connector. Has the keyhole and then has a hole on the top and a hole on the bottom. People used to go crazy for their cabbage pack. Yeah, they did. They, it was like fighting in the Christmas time. Uh huh. They knocked down the door at the <laughs> store. I said, I have never wanted a doll that hard. Or, I, mean, I don't know, maybe. There's a little rose connector. That's like that one that take on the Elmo. People had like black market. Michelle says their big deal was the birth certificate. Norma says, they then made the heads you could buy to sew your own. A doll company bought the concept and made the dolls to sell. Oh, okay. So I only ever saw them once that I guess that happened. I didn't know they started out as just a head. Yeah. You can, we used to make <clears> them into, <throat> I would make them into lights. I put a light in the head and call it. <laughs> in a, oh. I probably, that's not. That's probably a fire hazard. Norma says, I used to work in a fabric store. That's how she knows. Yeah, it must have probably got pretty crazy sometimes. What's your favorite fabric, Norma? Nancy says, I drove to Tampa Airport for my cabbage boy doll. He was flown in from the hospital in Georgia. What? <laughs> Getting fancy. Andrew asked Norma, what's your favorite fabric? That's probably like a loaded question, right? Look at this mer person in this shell. I love this one. I need to make a necklace with that. Who likes a dragon? Who's watching Game of Thrones right now? Anybody? House of the Dragon. House of the Dragon, Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon. It's not that bad. 
you know? They're, they started off with extra bloody and extra incesty, but they always do that. And then it kind of calmed down. Nancy says that's where they were born. No kidding. That's crazy. This says, those who don't believe in magic will never find it by Roald Dahl. Okay, I'm going to do one more row, and then we're going to show you the kit, and then we're going to go. Okay, everybody? I would love to, but I also want to have my work done for tomorrow. Well, you probably won't be able to leave, so. What are you talking about? I got multiple ways home. I'll go the the other road. Look at his bunny. I think they're closing that road down, too. Look at his bunny. Hop, hop. Well, then we're going to extend a stay on the taxes. Look at his bunny. Hop, hop. Bunny Bunny has a hole through the center, large hole through the center, jumping merrily through the field. Michelle says, I need to watch the first Game of Thrones first. No, you, don't. you don't actually need to. They don't, so far, they've not tied anything together unless you want to read all the histories in the families. Yeah, I, I, they've tied stuff, but you. But you don't gonna, necessarily know it if you don't know it. You're not going to know. Like they said, oh, oh, and then by the way, they caught, they talk about the prince who's going to be in the song on fire or knife. You know who the prince is? I'm not going to ruin it. Don't ruin it. Norma says, I don't know if I have a favorite, but I do like Rayon Chali, Chalice, C-H-A-L-L-I-S. I don't know what that word is. Chali? I used to really love rough silk. Rough silk. I get the off-cuts at a fabric store. And they this exists somewhere in New York. It's probably somebody I left it at their house. Maybe in Cynthia's house. Amanda says, I have a bunch of those dragons in silver and bronze. Nice. Yeah, sometimes, you know, if you don't know, maybe you don't know. Um, Cynthia and all of them down there, green girls, sometimes do things in other metals. Bronze, silver, Shibuichi. These ones that we're showing you, like this parrot here that I'm showing you, these are all fine pewter. No lead, no cadmium. Pronounced Chali. That's, what, that's the French, Chali. I guessed right. Thank you. A mushroom. This is not a mushroom person. This is just a mushroom. Some and people lost their minds. Right. They were like, oh my gosh, it even has the gills. I know. There's gills under there. Hopefully you can see that. We used to go to a mushroom club. Remember that one? I do remember that. It just came up on my some memories at some point about the mushrooms on the table that they were they were categorizing. I love that. I know. Norma says anymore, it's soft and drapes well. Nice. Ginny. Ginny and Bob. Ginny and Bob. I think he had a heart attack. Oh, no. Alive. Here's a magnificent pendant slash connector. You can wire wrap this to your heart's content. Look at that. You could add things in there, wire wrap things to it, add it, use it as a background, or put something behind it. There's a lot of things you could do with this one. Available at allegorygallery.com. We're taking a look at Green Girl Studios things. If you're watching this video and you're still with us and you haven't hit that like or that thumbs up yet, please do so. If you've not hit the share button, please do that too. These are all available right now on our website. So if you purchase something, um, if you purchase Green Girl Studios items over $100, so you add them to your cart and your order is over $100, you'll get free shipping if you're in the US and we will throw in a free extra Green Girl Studios bead with any purchase of Green Girl Studios items of 100 or more. You can't mix and match everybody. You can't mix and match. How about this leaf? This leaf. You can mix and match but you're not going to get a prize. Yeah. Yeah, you want that prize. You got to Hundred dollars worth of Green Girl has to be in there. Now you can order another, you know, five hundred dollars worth of something else. That's okay. Do it. <laughs> Andrew says, "Do it, do it." We got taxes to pay. We do got taxes to pay. All right, and the last one I'm going to show you 
is this cute what is this called a platypus look how cute you know they are small that is life. i did not know they were small in real life and they're born from a head yeah i knew that and some of the boys have poisonous they have spikes have <laughs> spikes look at that this little platypus is holding on to something its own body it's holding on to its own body and the hole goes through here there it I is. I've always been fascinated with creatures that were like half and half. So there you go. Now there's definitely more Green Girl Studio stuff on our site. Like I didn't even show you the cat button, the cat face button. I didn't even show you the mer people. I didn't even show you this ring. Or this other mer person. Look, there's the set. Mer boy, mer girl. I didn't show you this beetle button. I didn't show you this fish. What else didn't I show you? This key. The whole tray in the show. This floral cross that has the bail there. The seahorse button. The, what's this thing called that I always forget its name? The shell. They have the, no, 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 no. It's the creature that has the keratin scales. It's pangolin. Pangolin. That's the word. Sometimes that word comes to me, sometimes it doesn't. So there's a pangolin. Then there's this one, this geometric rock design connector. Then this one, hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul. The bird hope coin. What else didn't I show you? You know where that... The image comes from the front. Hmm. It's a Cynthia's own version of the strawberry key, which was designed by William Morris. There you go. I got to see their real fabric at a museum in Cleveland. It was pretty cool. This crystal. Who doesn't like a crystal? I like a crystal. Two peas in a pod. Didn't even show you that one. Little peas with their faces. Well, we used to have a three P in the pod, and people complained so <laughs> hard. And then, so they make a two P in the pod. Here's a dachshund. Dachshund dog. What else didn't I show you? So many. Here's a smaller root baby from the one I showed you before. Smaller root baby. Here's a manatee. I think the manatee might be sold out though. I think somebody just claimed it because somebody asked me if I had a manatee the other day and I had to say no. So that might be sold out online already. Here's a seahorse or sea dragon. That looks like a sea dragon. It's from the map. The old style maps. Here be dragons. Here be dragons. On the edges of the map. Another button. So there's a lot here, everybody. And there's more, but I'm going to stop because I have to show you this kit. And then we have to go. But I hope you saw something you like. And as I said, if you purchase $100 worth of Green Girl stuff from AllegoryGallery.com within the next, let's say, two days from the release of this video here on Monday, Monday, October 10th. Um, you have two days to purchase $100 and we will add in a free Green Girl Studios bead to your order. You also get free shipping on any order in our store, whether it has Green Girl in it or not, over $100 to US-based addresses. Now, the kit. Did you forget? Did you forget we're showing a kit today too? So in this kit, you get this beautiful strand 
of pinky check glass, another strand of pink check glass. These are rounds like these, cr it's crackle glass. Crackle. So Andrew said it's hot, then they put water on it to crack it, but it doesn't crack like clear through. You just get that designed. And then this one, I'm not, these are kind of like, almost like a, I don't know. They're kind of around, but they have, they're like spun glass almost. And then you have these pink ribbon hearts, the pink ribbon hearts. And you get this little charm with the silver ribbon. And then oh, these are lampwork glass. Okay. Lampwork glass, pink ribbon hearts. Then you get the ribbon metal that says survivor on one side and has the ribbon on the other. You get two of those. You get a that S word that shall not be named crystal. So European crystal. But these are actually, you know that company some people have refused to use it now i like it so i don't care hey we still got it you can still use it and with that or I don't care. with that or by itself you can order the bead mix and there is a lot in this bead mix um do i have a bowl it's mostly seed beads this time. it is mostly seed beads I made it mostly CDs because um, um, I have a project with mostly CDs coming up. Oh. Let me dust this out real quick. Okay. We're going to get a bowl here. Andrew's working on it. So we can dump some of this out and show you. That's going to be available by itself. Yeah, you can get this with the kit or you can get it by itself. The kit. I'm going to make a laser pendant, which y'all know about that. Yeah, the laser's dead, dead. Dead, dead. We're working hard to replace it. Yeah. So here, so he says it's mostly seed beads, and then you dump it out, and there's like lots of rocks in here too, and crystals. Well, the seed beads settle to the bottom. So it's like rose quartz. What is this? Is this rhodonite? Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, rhodochrosite. Rhodochrosite. That's rhodonite is the darker one. Darker one. And this, you get some of these vintage sequins, check glass. There's some S word in there. There's some S word crystal. Looks like Eng English cut check glass in here. Uh -huh. Wow. English cut. So lots of good stuff in there. So Right now, I don't have these on the online store yet. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get them on yet. So right now, you can just send us an email if you'd like to purchase this kit. Um, this kit is $36 for the kit. Or you can get just the mix by itself for $10. All right. So just send us an email if you want the kit. And we will invoice you for it for now until I get it up in the online store but I'm not going to guarantee that until after I get done with my work today. All right. So just send us an email. You're the first to see this. We will not be posting it to our social media yet. So you all get first dibs at these kits before um, we release them on social media and, you know, do an email blurb and do, you know, photos. So if you would like them, send us an email and, or if you place an order, you can also say, please add, um, the breast cancer awareness kit um, in your notes section and we'll bill you for that and send it along with your order. All right. Yeah, it's not really that complicated. Poor Barb. Poor Barb. Barb's not going to be doing it. It's going to be poor William. I'm going to be doing all the invoicing and yeah, so I can do that to myself. I'm allowed. All right. So there you go. Kit is ready for you. If you'd like to grab it, just send us an email or add it in the menu or, yeah, menu, the notes to your order. And we're going to, uh, I'm going to try to make a few more pink kits to raise more money for breast cancer awareness. Yeah. So if you didn't hear, Andrew, he's going to be trying to make a few more kits, maybe. Um, he's going to definitely try. 
and um, to do more raising of the money, hopefully. You know, things are hard, but they're hard for everyone, and we would like to try to raise money if we can. So um, that's it for me today. That's it from us here at Allegory Gallery. If you have any questions, you know where you can send the email, info at allegorygallery.com. Put that up there right at the end here in case you have questions. You can email there. That's the best way to ask questions. Um, if you leave a comment on an Instagram post or a Facebook post, that's definitely not the best way to um, ask questions um, just because we don't see them all. Um, Facebook does not tell us all the time when we have a comment on a, on a post, neither does Instagram. So, um, or they bury it so far in our notifications that it gets lost. We eventually see it, but it's yeah. not always kind of... We try, like, once a week or so, I try to go back through all the posts that we did that week, usually at the end of the week, and I try and go back through, and we eventually usually catch your comment. Um, but especially if it's a back and forth thing, like you say, oh, what's the size of this? And then I write back and say, it's 10 millimeter. Do you want one? And then you have to say, oh, maybe. So if you're doing that in the comment sections, it will get lost. So info at Allegory Gallery is always the best way to reach us. If you don't get a reply in a day or two days, this is like Monday through Friday days, um, then you can message us on like Facebook or Instagram. Facebook's best. Um, yeah, Instagram is almost guaranteed it'll disappear. Yeah, Instagram. Instagram. I don't know. Like people say, I messaged you on Instagram. I'm like, I don't know where because it's. Instagram is not there. <laughs> yeah, so Facebook is the next best place to message us. Um, ever since we combined our inbox, Instagram and Facebook, when they did that merge, and they say, "Do you want your Facebook account tied to your Instagram account?" We said, "Yes, merge everything." It loses all the Instagram messages don't know why. So Facebook is the best way to reach us if you don't get a reply to an email, because that may mean it went to spam, or that may mean you may be typed allegory gallery wrong, which happens a lot. Even for me, I type it wrong a lot. Um, so it may have just gone out into nowhere. Um, and I do check spam. I try to check that weekly too. But um, if you need a quick reply, um, definitely if you messaged us, on email and you don't get a response in a day or two, you should give me at least two days, um, unless it's like needed, then go ahead and message us on Facebook. And um, Andrew and I both kind of checked that. I started to check more because people said they were, I tried to help out more now. Yeah, he helps out with the messaging because sometimes the answers have to come from him and it's easier if he answers them than if I go to him and wait for me to ask him to ask for you and then right back to you. But don't message my personal. That, don't message either of our personals because I barely look at them. If it's business stuff, it's yeah. a, we're guaranteed that it's not going to get responded to. Um, Marianne says, she looked it up, Greek worry beads are call, called komboloi. K-O-M-B-O-L-O-I. That's not the one I'm thinking of, but... Suzanne said, I ordered this weekend. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Um, Michelle says, that's a great price for the kit. We tried to keep it low. 36, that's a lot for $36, I think. Um, especially with that bead blend. Um, normally with the S word, um, the bead blend, normally we charge $10. I don't know if we're going to be able to continue doing that as we continue building out more bead blends. Mm -hmm. So Andrew says no. <laughs> so, um, the prices on the bead blends are probably going to start going up. So if you see a bead blend in the online store, you want to grab. I would consider doing that um, if you like them. Um, Suzanne says, everyone have a great night. You too. Thank you all. Um, and we will see you back here <laughs> tomorrow. Andrew's going to be here. And then on Wednesday, the great bead extravaganza takeover day. So um, we'll be looking forward to seeing you then. And hopefully you'll all be out there commenting, saying how much you love the takeovers, right? Wait, you sound nervous. Or like almost like a, what's that when they get uh they start laughing because they have this stress the stress laughter yeah it's starting to happen the delirious the delirious with the stress yeah taxes fort ligonier days takeover days tgbe meetings Maniacal laughter. adding more to my other jobs work schedule to help people 
their family. They deserve it, but it's still adding to my schedule. Um, so lots of stuff going on, crazy lots of stuff this next through the week. Oh, and we got to clean the whole house and the back of the store. No biggie. No biggie. The <laughs> yeah, the back of the store is probably going to get tossed by the wayside. So I would like to do it, but it's just so much work to do. Next four days, we will have the back of the store open. <laughs> Not this four days, most likely. All right, everybody. Anyway, you don't need to hear that. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you. I am getting delirious. Um, Marianne says cackling partners. Yeah, for many different reasons. Andrew's cackling because I'm stressed out, apparently. He's mimicking it over there. Um, anyway, thanks so much, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. This is almost two hours. It wasn't supposed to be more than one, but I had fun hanging out with you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening, and we'll see you back here. Andrew will be here tomorrow. Bye, see everybody. Ya. See ya.